Hey there, YouTube. Right. So, I've decided... Because... That's probably the smallest motorbike I've ever seen. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to... I'm going to test this out today. I hope you can see that. This is this um, DPS 5015. And what I've decided I'm going to do... Let's get a bit of light on the subject. What I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to use this... ATX supply, it's 650 watt I think, yeah 650 watt, and uh, you can see that, and I'm going to use that to power up this, I've already disconnected it from my um, battery and charge controller and stuff, and I'm going to put my coil on it, and we <laughs> We're going to see how much grief this thing can take because, to be fair, I did ask the man, you know, uh, RD Tech, he subscribed to my channel and everything. I asked him, I said, hey, so can I put inductive loads on this? Will it be okay? And he didn't get back to me. Left a few adverts on my ad on my, on my, um, on my um, videos, but never actually got back to me about that. So I'm going to test it and we're going to see what we can actually put through this. Now, this thing is capable of putting out up to 50 volts, 15 amps. I haven't actually tried it to see if you can turn that voltage up while you're using it. I think you can. But I say it like that because I haven't actually done a great deal with it. I got all in a panic because I haven't got any power supplies and I've got four now. Um, <laughs> but I haven't actually really done anything with it. So that's going to be the thing. That is going to be the thing. So first of all, I've got to wire this up and just get it so it's in, a, um, you know, um, ready using the green and black. So it's got a bit of an on switch. And then, I don't know if it actually works because I, I did have a repair the other day of a computer to do. And it's in a very noisy electric environment. And I figured that maybe the power supply and it's too cheap. And so I'll put something a bit better in. And see how that fares up, you know, the suppression. But I ended up just putting surge protection sockets in and stuff, and so far I've not heard anything back. So no news is good news when it comes in the IT world. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to connect this up, stick this wire up there, and the end of this wire is what I'm going to plug into these wires, and we're going to see. You don't know what we're around. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah, because this is going to be the output of the power. It's going to go into this, we're going to boost it up. I'll do it in increments and uh, and we'll just see what happens and see what sort of spark it Because you've got to remember, this unit in the back here reckons it's 750 watts it can handle. Ah, finally. <laughs> the, the camera was stuck on photo, it's going yampy already. I'm not even started, I ain't got anything plugged in yet. I brought myself up a power cable from downstairs um, because when I've done this before it sort of knackered up my computer for a while and I had to strip it down and put it back together again because it just wouldn't load the operating systems it well it just wouldn't do anything really so I brought this up from downstairs it's not gonna um, it's just gonna keep it off the circuit that's in this room if I could I'd plug it into my neighbor's electric and run it from there uh, just in case but, so I got this, and I'm just going to power this up. Like I said, the camera was just going a bit nuts, and it was just stuck in photo mode. It wouldn't come out of it, so I think it knows what's coming. Right, let's carry on. Um, I'm going to use the four turns on this to start off with, because I don't want this to be a straightforward murder. I prefer it to be a bit slow and painful for it. Um, when we get round to this one, in actual fact, so I've got a funny feeling this one might be okay as well. Especially if I, because um, this is just a bit of, this is absolutely terrible. I should just use another piece of wire, really, because all this is is a piece of earth wire with no shield on it, no, you know, uh, uh, sleeve sheath on it at all, and I'll just wrap some some insulating tape around it so it doesn't, um, you know, short out. But I've been doing it with this for so long now, I just don't really see the point in. I'm doing another one but I suppose I should do because I'm going to run into problems 
but it's the one where I put the single turn on where, where, where it just it just goes around it and comes back uh, that's the one that killed the last power supply so we'll have to see what happens I'm just going to sit you down here because I'm having a bit of a fight with this but I'm, I'm just uploading a, uh, a video of my little flight today it's, it's alright a bit windy out there with a nice low flying and, I got, and then I'm going to turn my computer off this time rather than have it on and have it go funny on me because it sends the lights nuts so I'll turn this light out and put the um, solar battery lights on or I may not it's quite a good effect actually when the lights go nuts but it also sends my computer and speaker nuts so I need to disconnect that I was going to set it up in a different room but I really couldn't bother shifting everything out and I would like to have the scope on as well just so I can see when I get a signal straight away so I'm not you know um, trying to up the voltage or do anything like that when I know that there's not a, not a signal and I suppose if I disconnect it which it is I could do a quick test on this because I don't actually know whether I can adjust this power supply um, in real time, you know, turn the volume up, uh, the voltage up in real time. So let's do that. Let's just switch this baby on. Now the next day, you know, 650 watts. I got no idea if this, you know, if this will go wrong. Um, I tried to separate the electric as much as I can by plugging in downstairs. Hopefully, that's going to be on a different circuit going into the. But it will be on a different circuit. I can't see it being on the same ring circuit as what this room is. Even if the you know, entire apartment was on, the ring circuit downstairs is going to be on separately. So I plugged in downstairs. Okay, right. We got 54.6 volts coming out of the booster. Um, I've set the maximum output on this to 630 watts which really I should turn down a little bit because the boost is only capable of 600 power supply is only capable of 650 so let's go into this and just turn that down um, over power protection so I'm going to go uh, actually I'm going to go a bit lower than that I'm going to go 550 Box. Yeah. Okay. So we can have the maximum of 50 volts, and we can have a maximum of 15 amps. Although we're controlled limited by 500. What was it? 550 watts. Yeah. So that keeps me under what the power supply can do. This one, under what the boost converter can do behind that display there and under what the output maximum is of the uh, DPS5015 okay I think it's time just to see if the circuit is actually set up correctly and that we get some oscillation and it will be displayed on there so let's plug this in okay so let's just turn it up a little bit now what I'm waiting for is um, I'm waiting for an output actually, so I want to turn it on. And we're going to want to see some sort of output there. Huh. I must be hitting all the wrong buttons because I can't seem to get. What am I doing wrong? I've got the voltage going in. I press the on and off button, so it says the green little light's on. I don't want to. want to do some output out. But it's not doing anything. Okay, so I'll turn it off. So the, the little red is on red. I turn that on. Let me just check the voltage over here. I can start going up. Here we go. 
That's it. We've got to press the V on the bolt. Something's not right because um, I don't actually have any of this on. So that could be a number of things. It could be that this isn't connected in properly, which a lot of the time it will be that. Sometimes it's because this little wire isn't pushed in correctly. Let me just see if I can turn it up again. 3 volts, normally gets on about 6. That's 13 volts, there's definitely nothing there. So we go down to 8. That says uh, 80 milliamp. Just see what just want to leave what about. Doing a bit with that. You do have oscillation, my mistake. I don't have an LED on though, which I would normally have, so I probably do want to swap that out. And I'm going to give my first little test. Okay, so the strip lamp sort of lighting up a little bit. That's at 8 volts. But I do want this LED working, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the LED. I'm going to give it just a little tiny more voltage. Um, do I ever press that set every single time? I don't know if I do. I'm going to give it a bit more voltage, but the LED is not working, so I'm going to swap that LED out because I like, I like the LED working. So let's just power that off. I'll drop it down the voltage so we don't. Uh... Alrighty ho then. So. Oh, I'm going to get a chair on. <laughs> so at the minute we've got 5 volts over there, and of course I've got to press this bloody button again. So hit the voltage button. Alright, uh, there we go. So 5 volts. So this time around, let's go up a little bit. What have we got? Over there. The lights come on. Let's just, just bring that down a bit. So, I don't to do so. so that's 19 volts, 0.28 amp. Got a bit of breakout. I put the other lights on. So if I turn that off, it's sort of semi glowing and if I just push that out of the way I don't know how well you can or can't see any of this look how pretty that power supply is um, we've got 29 volts 0.85 amps 24.67 watts we've got 53 volts over there so that, that tallies up with that half an amp going through there now this is supposed to be 10 amps at 600 watts this thing we need that light on, nothing I can do, we need that light on. Why? Yeah, if I touch it like it starts flashing like I'm... <sighs> I don't want bad dreams tonight. I, I don't like that, it keeps doing it now, I've got to bloody press the thing again. And I'll go back to where I was, and I'll start going back up again, like 29 volts. So let's go up to 40 volts. It's not letting me go up to 40 volts. Why isn't it letting me go up to 40 volts? Seems to be on 37 on here. That seems to be the highest. Yeah, seems to be the highest I can take it. It doesn't really matter what I do. If I press that again, try going up that a bit. Oh, maybe I've got something set so I can't go any higher than 40 volts. But still the thing looks quite pretty. Nothing's blown up so far. I'm using 50 watts of power. Okay, let me see if I can take that across and we'll go down. Turn it down. And then we'll see what I've got set so it doesn't allow me to do that. Something must be set. Uh, voltage set. What's that? Wrong button. 
Um, so if I hit that and go up as high as I can. Now that's actually turning the voltage. That's turning it up. So. Okay, so if I just turn that down for a minute. What's going on here? So I've got this overpower protection set up. I'll turn the output off. I've got the overpower protection set at 550 watts. The ampage overcurrent protection is 15 amps. Over voltage protection is 51 volts. It's basically a maximum. Current output uh, 15 amps. And the voltage output at the minute it says zero. It's not turned on, but I don't want it just to. I don't want it just to turn on. And what will happen is, if I turn the power on, it's just going to come on straight away. See there, it says 50 volts, but I don't want it to come on with 50 volts. I want it to be set at zero. Yeah. So. Um, what's this thing down there? This is for the brightness, and this is for the programming. So all these are set, so it should be able to go straight out. To my rights now, I should be able to turn that sucker up to 50 volts. I've got 54 volts going in. Okay, so I might lose a bit there. So let's see if we can turn this up to gently, does it? Okay, so we're on 58.1 volts there. So now I'm going to turn it on, and we should still be on zero. A little power light, a little power indicator is on. And now I'm going to do the voltage button. And I'm going to step it across to one volt at a time. We're going to go back up again in voltage. 14. Everything's coming on as it should be. Breakout. This is my lowest, uh, it's the maximum amount of turns I've got on coils. But it's not letting me go above basically 50 watts. Now, is that a restriction of my power supply? This one? Is it a restriction over there? Um, or is it a restriction of that? But it's not letting me go up above 35.5 volts. It's pulling that down like over there, look. So I've got a funny feeling it's probably down to this, isn't it? So, because I've already got this on one wire here, do I reckon I need to connect some more of these wires together so I've got more current coming out? Because I'm going to have... Well, it's more than one line coming out here, isn't it? And they've got individual protections on. So I've got a funny feeling that's what it is. It's going to be this holding it back. I need to get more of these yellow cables hooked up together so they're in parallel and then I'll have more feed in the boost converter because it's dropping down so much over there which will give me more over here it's nice to see that this camera doesn't go nuts like my phone camera does and it's also nice to see that you know it's working and this doesn't seem to be affected too much at 50 watts going out I wonder what it would be like if I try and draw more current, but I think I'm going to have to do the, um, I'm going to have to connect, connect some, some of these yellow cables together. So, if I pretend that was, that's one rail going out, another rail going out, another rail going out, get a yellow from here, yellow from here, yellow from here, stick them together, and hopefully rather than have, let's see. I don't know, 5 amps at 12 volts, what have I got there, I've got 36 volts, that's only about 3, yeah about 5 amps isn't it, I've got, about, I've got just under 5 amps really at 12 volts, um, for my rough, my rough math, ok, right, so a bit annoying that i got to press this again and go through, RD Tech if you're listening, it would be nice if you have an option where it just resets itself back to, you having to press on blue buttons again, so let's just turn this down, but so far so good, 
turn that off. So just turn that down a little bit down to there. Turn that sucker off. Turn that baby off. And turn that off. Everything's good. Right, I'm going to come back when I've made some adjustments to the power wires coming out of there.